What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the next weekly ramble video. I am very excited to be back. Uh, we do have a number of things that I want to jump into just really quickly. This might be a little bit of a shorter ramble, uh, but we do have a few things that I want to mention. So first of all, Magic Wars. I've been talking about this for the last two weekly rambles, I believe. Uh, this is one of our big ventures with Burst of Knowledge. This is a partnership sponsored by Grand Slam, so a lot of involvement with this one. Uh, it is, I guess right now, technically our featured video. Uh, we do have it on our channel, on the homepage of our channel. So, uh, if for some reason you did not get the opportunity to watch that, I know it's a bit long, uh, but it's really, really worth it. It's a really fun video to watch. Uh, we put a ton of effort into this one. Uh, this was really the idea, uh, it, it was really Tyler's idea from Burst of Knowledge. Uh, and then I was doing most of the production side of things uh, and most of the editing and then obviously Grand Slam providing the product for us, which we super, super appreciated. So uh, Magic Wars did go up last uh, Sunday, I believe. It was a little bit late. I do apologize. I was actually in Asheville on vacation with my girlfriend. And so I didn't get the opportunity to export as early as I would have liked to. And then it took way too long to actually export and then upload because I, of course, was on hotel Wi-Fi, which if you don't know is really, really terrible. So in general, it was a little bit rough getting it up, but uh, the video itself is a lot of fun to watch. Uh, really, really enjoyed doing that with Tyler. And again, a huge thank you to Grand Slam. Uh, while we're on the topic of Grand Slam, they did also sponsor our box opening of Ravnica Allegiance. We did get to post that up yesterday, uh, very late yesterday. Uh, so that is up and available for you to watch as well. It is sponsored by Grand Slam, so again, a huge thank you to them. Uh, one quick note on that video. Uh, I was using this lens, but I've had some issues with this lens. Uh, and if you know anything about cameras, the autofocus in the camera to, in respect with the lens is not really working as well as I would have liked it to. So that video is a little bit more blurry than I would have liked just because of the dis distance between the lens and the actual uh, subject, in this case, the box. And so it was a little bit fuzzy. I do apologize, but uh, you do still get to see us open a box uh, and it is a really fun opening. Very, very interesting cards in this set that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, and so I do talk about uh, a little bit of standard, where I kind of see standard going. Obviously three color seems to be uh, the idea behind both of the Ravnica sets being put together. Uh, and so I really think we're gonna have some powerhouse decks come out of this set. Uh, I'm really, really excited about that. So uh, also, Last new video, kind of new video, uh, we did bring the podcast back as of this week. So as of yesterday, our uh, season two, I guess, started, uh, if you want to call it season two. Uh, Will's back. He is doing very, very well. We're very excited to actually sit down and record that. It was so much fun getting back into it with Will. Uh, I've been doing videos by myself for like a month and a half, two months almost now. And so it felt a little weird to like jump in it with somebody who I hadn't seen really much of for the last two months. Uh, but we've really had a good time with it. It was a lot of fun to sit down and record. I'm very excited because we're going to be obviously keeping with the, the weekly podcast as much as possible. So uh, we will be back into it full swing. Uh, you can get the podcast either on YouTube. We'll, we just post it with a logo, but you can listen to it on YouTube or um if you're in the podcast app or anything like that, we're also there. Uh, we host it on SoundCloud, so if by chance you're on SoundCloud, you listen to it there as well. But uh, the idea is if you're in the podcast app, you can search it resolves and it will be right there for you. So uh, very excited about that. Uh, last little bit of news, and this isn't necessarily video related, but we do have our Ravnica Allegiance bundle giveaway going on right now. Uh, this one... We thought we'd be a little bit different. Normally, uh, obviously for the last large number of giveaways, we've pretty much done everything YouTube based. So we tried to get everybody to kind of go subscribe to our channel uh, and be a part of the actual video processes, you know, th watch the videos, do that kind of a thing. Uh, we thought we'd jump back to our roots, so to speak, a little bit uh, and do a giveaway for Instagram. And so if you are on Instagram, if you would like, you can follow our channel or follow our, uh, our page, not channel, uh, and uh, repost the original giveaway post, tagging us in it and you're entered to win. Uh, we do, I believe we'll be picking the winner on like the 30th, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but it's this coming Wednesday. So it's basically almost a week from today. 
so just stay tuned for that. Uh, we've already had like a ton of submissions. Uh, a lot of people are entering this giveaway, so don't miss out on your chance to enter. Uh, we're really, really excited for the feedback on this one, and so far it's been absolutely fantastic. So good luck to everybody who does enter. We are very excited to be giving away stuff again. Uh, of course, we do this usually once a month, but we did our last big giveaway in December, and that lasted literally the entire month. So this one's a little bit different. It's just the week long thing that we normally do, uh, but we are really, really excited about it. So thank you again to those who have already entered and thank you to anybody who plans to enter. We appreciate you. Uh, so big news in Magic as of right now. Obviously the pre-release was this past weekend. Hopefully you all had a fantastic time. If you did and if you have a deck list that you'd love to share, please seriously comment it down below, give us a link, give us whatever, because we will talk about it on the next podcast episode a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on standard for the next one. Uh, the idea is that we'll give it a few weeks and then we'll actually jump into some tournament uh, replay kind of stuff. We'll be able to see how the meta is shifting with Ravnica Allegiance being out. Uh, this past episode, of course, was on Ravnica Allegiance in the actual set. Uh, so if you're interested in our thoughts on the actual set itself, uh, feel free to watch that episode. We, it's, it's a really interesting one. Uh, but uh, obviously with the pre-release, uh, Magic Wars was in that vein, and so we had a lot of fun with it. We hope you guys did. Uh, if you do have any fun stories or anything like that, of course, let us know too. So uh, pre-release obviously hopefully went well for everybody. Uh, and then the other big news item is KCI, uh, Clark Clan Ironworks, something like, I can't I always mispronounce the name. The, the KCI deck is now banned in modern. Uh, shun, whatever. Uh, so this really was a long time coming. This is a really uh, needed ban, I think. So if anybody doesn't know, the KCI deck is similar in the vein of like the eggs deck. If you know what the eggs deck was, uh, that was also banned uh, because it just was not fun. And it kind of not cheated the rules by any means. It actually just required a really high extensive knowledge of the rules and how they worked. Uh, but it was just not a fun deck to play against. It reduced the variance of games significantly. Uh, and so KCI kind of fell into that same uh, vein. And so they actually banned the card KCI, not any of the other pieces to the deck. Uh, we'll talk more about this a little bit more, I, at least on the next podcast episode. This is going to be sort of a main topic for this one because we wanted to talk about uh, decks that have really, really shaken up metas to the point where it's just ridiculous. Uh, and KCI was sort of that deck for a while. Uh, I'm a little surprised it took them this long to ban it, if we're going to be honest. Uh, but they did say they have been watching it. If you read the article, feel free. Uh, they do kind of go into detail as to why they were waiting a little bit longer. I don't necessarily agree with it. I think they should have banned it earlier. Uh, but that being said, uh, at least, you know, better late than never. So I'm excited to say KCI is banned. We will no longer see that deck in modern. Uh, and that is honestly just a huge weight off. Uh, that deck was not a fun deck. That's the kind of deck that I would play and I am not a fun person to play against. So if that tells you anything, uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's going to be banned in modern again, the next podcast episode, we're going to use this as a segue to talk about some other decks. Uh, that we've seen in past metagames that um, we really felt were kind of in the same vein where it just sort of, it reduced the, the variance of games to next to zero where it's literally, okay, I'm going to just combo off. And that's not very fun for a meta and it kind of makes it, the, as, as Wizards actually stated, it sort of puts this barrier up for new players coming into a format where if you're against this deck, 99% of the time you're just going to lose because one, you don't know the rules interactions very well. And two, because you don't know the rules interactions, you don't know how to actually deal with any of the situations and deal with any of the key cards in this deck. And so it causes a lot of issues, uh, especially post or excuse me, pre sideboard. It was a very high win rate for the KCI deck, uh, similar to things like eggs and dredge and things like that, that we've seen in the past. So, uh, finally, finally they banned KCI. Everybody rejoice. It took them long enough, but it is done. So uh, if you're interested in checking out our opinion on that, definitely check out the next podcast episode coming out next week on Wednesday. Uh, we are very excited about it. For anybody that doesn't know, I just want to go ahead and clarify this really quick as well. Um, if you, for some reason, checked out our homepage on our actual YouTube uh, channel, we updated our header image to include sort of a day by day uh, of the videos that we post because we do post a video once every week a day uh, at this point. And so if you don't already know or if you haven't seen that header and you're new to the channel, anything like that, 
I just want to give a quick breakdown of this. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, both are crack -a pack days. So what we'll do for those videos, if you haven't seen them, uh, is we actually open up a random pack. Now these are decided completely at random within the, the confines of budget. Obviously I can't pick up alpha packs all the time, but we have gone all the way back to fourth edition and up. Uh, I know recently we've been opening Time Spiral a good bit. We actually have a Shadow More pack right here uh, that I will be opening very soon, uh, along with anything up until Standard. So we actually open a lot of different stuff. We've opened Modern Masters, uh, all of the Modern Masters, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and so it is a lot of fun. We go through the actual pack. Uh, we determine, we go through every card in the pack, first of all, and then we determine if we were drafting, and this was our pack one, what our actual pick one would be uh, if we were drafting this set. So the idea being, uh, it gives you guys a little bit more information than just saying, oh, well, here's this cool pack, because yes, it's a cool pack, but we want you guys to get some information out of it, give a little bit more substance to the video. And so we do uh, a little bit more of an in-depth analysis of the pack itself. So if that sounds up your alley, we do those on Monday, Tuesday, and then we actually tack one on at the end of the week on Friday as well. Uh, so you can watch three of those a week. Uh, those are really, really fun to do also. So uh, enjoy those. Those are a lot of fun. A lot of people seem to like those, so that's good. Uh, Wednesday is podcast day. So uh, we do we release that again on the podcast app and on the YouTube channel. So if you're interested in listening to that or watching that, feel free to do so. Uh, we don't do video on those anymore. Some of you who have been around for a while may know uh, we used to do video. We decided not to uh, as a segue into Will having his baby because we thought it would be a little bit easier for him not to have to worry about videoing, uh, getting everything set up, doing all that stuff. Instead, we can literally just sit down with this boom mic that we have now and literally just sit down, record and be done. Uh, that way he can get home to his, uh, his baby and his wife and I can edit a lot quicker. Uh, a lot of times the video editing would take a little bit of time. Uh, we also had issues with the GoPros, which we were filming on. Uh, I really hate GoPros now, uh, just saying. Do not really like them, but uh, we did the best we could at the time and they worked for us for a while, but uh, it, we found some issues uh, with lag and things like that in the cameras. So uh, we just cut that all together and decided we're just gonna do audio. It makes it a lot easier for us. It lets us get the content out uh, usually on time without a doubt uh, at this point. Sometimes we were a little bit late with the video just because of export time, upload time, things like that. So uh, that cut down on work a significant amount and that allowed us to do a little bit more, which on Thursday is when this video goes up. So this is the weekly ramble video, obviously uh, a little late to tell you that now, but uh, this goes out every week. I just sit and talk with you guys about upcoming news uh, in the magic world or channel updates, giveaway information, all that kind of stuff. This is kind of your hub for any just basic information. Obviously, we go more in depth on podcasts when it comes to things like a banning or certain decks that are popping up, things like that. Um, but this is sort of the hub for that information. So on top of that, we also have uh, just one-off videos coming in every once in a while, like the box opening video that went up yesterday. Uh, we occasionally will do a deck tech or something along those lines as well. Uh, in fact, we've got some ideas for deck techs with Ravnica Allegiance. It just happens that with pre-recording a bunch of stuff because uh, I will have a conference coming up in February, uh, which means I'll be out of town for like a week. Um, we thought we would just get everything pre-recorded, make things a little bit easier. So we're actually ahead of schedule right now, but we're trying to stay that way. Uh, and so that's sort of the schedule. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about that, or if you have anything, suggestions, etc., leave them in the comments section, but that's sort of how it goes for now. So we do release five videos a week at minimum, uh, and they do go up every weekday. So just stay on the lookout for that. If you're interested in lots of content, uh, we do try to accommodate that. So that's kind of the goal. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. This ended up being a lot longer than most weekly rambles. I say a lot longer. We're at 14 minutes and like 30 seconds right now, according to my uh, monitor here, which technically will be wrong. Anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the weekly ramble. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next weekly ramble video.